What's up, detectives? Gooba and Jetpack here to welcome you back to part 8 of our Nancy Drew Warnings at Waverly Academy blind playthrough. In this episode, there's some more drama among the valedictorians, I show off my stellar geographical skills, and we uncover one of the biggest secrets on the Valcan floor. Without further ado, enjoy. So now, we can Check. go ahead and go night-night, wake up, or er, oh, in we the- got a text. Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. Let's go talk to her. Izzy, baby. How's it going? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. For stealing her stupid boyfriend. Do you think she sent the first note now? too? Who Call cares? The black cat can send me as many notes as she wants. They're just words on paper. I'd really like to see that second black cat note you got. Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. It's a little intense. And a little suspicious. Yeah. Why would you burn the note? I'll catch you later. Adios. I'm telling you, Izzy's, she's up to something. So you're still on the, uh, on the kick that Izzy's the black cat. For right now, yeah. I mostly because I don't like her, but uh Really I don't know who else it could be. Someone I guess Rachel didn't lock is their door. Suspicious. It's not locked. Maybe later, okay? Alright. So I guess we'll go nighty nights. Wake up when everybody else is sleeping and go check out the uh, classroom. Did we do snack shop for the day? Yeah, you did it. Okay. I don't want you to get expelled. Nope. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have, no, we have to do it. We have to do snack shop now. Right? No. No, we don't. Because I just did it for a couple hours, right? Yeah, I don't think we slept through the entire <laughs> night till noon. I think. Oh, see, I, I did the exact same thing you did earlier. Yeah. No see? Way. So. Yeah. You're right. You are correct. Irene snores quite loudly. Okay, so let's break into that room. How about it? Do it. Check out that snow, though. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to get caught. I'm just here for the atmosphere. I can't get any more demerits. Oh, weren't you just all about demerits? If we get caught again, we're going to get expelled. <laughs> and I already did it once. It was fun. But... Okay, so do you remember Rita's little little notebook she's yeah. got that's not it it's not it it's the brown one yeah that one so she talks about ravens so she says but how to tell the two apart from a distance close up preservation of the wedged tail large bill shaggy breast ruff and elegantly long primary feathers lead to a wondrous conclusion. Okay, so... We need to go... Or we need... I assume we need to select the parts of the bird in order. Yes. So, so we've tail. Got tail. Bill. Breath. Or shaggy breast. Rough and primary feathers okay let's so tail bill best and then primary feathers which one were those primaries so they're like right above the tail kind of 
It looks like there's another level between, you see? Or is there? I, don't I think know. these, I okay. think this is what it was. Yeah, it was right. You are correct. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh no, what have I done? Oh crap. Do I have to put the states back together? Yep. <laughs> Hope you know your states. I kind of do. I've, all right. So let's start with the easy ones. Yeah, I remember a good amount. I, uh, for those of you watching, I did travel for work uh, for quite a while, so I know a lot of the states. Um, Illinois. Down a little bit. Yeah, you're right. It's like right, yeah. Yeah. Tennessee. I'll throw that you just in. want to do Tennessee. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to finish the southeast because I know that area pretty well. Whatever method works for you. The hardest for me is the northeast. There are yeah, just, that, that part I'm going to struggle a little bit. There are just so many states up there. Then Louisiana. You can do Arkansas or Arkansas. Um, let's see. Kansas is right next to Missouri, isn't it? Yep. Got the two-piece state up here in Michigan. All the prairie states. I O. We get Texas out of the way. Wisconsin. Um, let's see. South Dakota is pretty easy. Um, I know the general area for New York. It's, yeah, it's right there. You got Oklahoma. All right. I get, I struggle with the West sometimes too. I can help you with the West. It's the Northeast that I just, um, uh, what is it? Virginia is pretty easy. Here, go ahead and down a little bit. Virginia? Yeah. And then West Virginia. Mountain Mama. You can do Nevada. Up. Oh. Yeah, there you go. I forget that it's that far north. For some reason, I always feel like it's way down here. Yeah, sometimes I'll confuse Nevada and Arizona. And Arizona here, and then New Mexico. There it is. And Montana is pretty. Oh. Montana's not hard. Up. 
Where is it? Yeah. Right yeah, there. it's up. It's pretty far north. Um, I keep. Wyoming, I think, is here. And then Colorado should be right there. And then Utah, I think. Yes. All right. So Pennsylvania pretty... and Maine are are easier of the hodgepodge. I know uh, it's Yep. Yeah. I New Jersey. Like it's off in New York. Oh, I got to sneeze. Is that did that stay? Yep. yep. Okay. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. And then Maine you can drop in easily. Remember Maine top very top. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, I got the sniffles. <laughs> I know Maryland is kind of right yep. here. All right. Uh, and then if you pick up Massachusetts, I'll think I think you'll figure out where that one goes. Yep. All right. It's these little states that'll get you. Connecticut. It's so small. <laughs> I'm not, I'm gonna come back to that one. <laughs> oh. I know Rhode Island is really small. It's like right. Uh, is it right off of New Jersey? Between New Jersey and um. I think oh the, no, I was completely wrong. I that's right. I don't know if that's it's is sticking. It? So I think it is. Um, I think New Hampshire and Vermont go together. Oh. I think they go together off of Maine. Yeah, so there. All right, and then we got... Sorry, so... sorry if the sound keeps cutting out. You keep clicking out of the box accidentally. Did we do it? I think we did it. Yes. Okay, go pick up your little medallion thing. Where is it? I don't even know. Behind the raven. Okay, I'm just gonna, let me fix this setup real quick. Two seconds. Okay, we're back. All right. We got That's that Rachel. Now. What's she up to? I should probably find out. Stealing food from the looks of it. Rachel, that's free. <laughs> Don't knock, just bust in. You're a detective, Nancy. It won't let me. Oh, man. That's not gonna work. <laughs> well, why not? It won't let me barge in. Yeah, it will. Oh. Yeah, it will. Uh, all right we've got a puzzle okay um not really do i need just to get click. all of them just start clicking you'll see So the goal is to light them all up without crossing over another one twice. So go ahead. Okay. And, you can only go one way. So you go this it looks way. like I'm not supposed to slide over the places where the lines cross more than once. There you go. Okay. So you have to start off this one. Yeah, I assume. Uh, 
Oh, dang it. Th you don't know if that's a mess up or not. It could be right. Well, you could have gone right instead. Yeah, but I don't... I wouldn't... Yeah, you could have. Right. Um... Just keep trying. You'll get it. Go ahead and go for that. Go for that one on the just down to the right. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, you can't really do that. Oh wait, I can do this. Yeah, but then how are we going to get back to that other one? Oh, yeah. It's really close. You're really close. How about you go, yeah, right down to the bottom. Yep. Then to that one on the bottom right. All the way to the outside. And start going right. Go in. To that, yep. Right to, the, yep. Up. Okay, hang on. Let's think about this. I can do it this way. You can? Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Great job. Yes. Right. Perfect. Interesting. Oh my gosh, there's two of you? Please don't tell. You mean you both go to school here, but everyone thinks just one of you does? I including the administration? But we're not hurting anyone. I mean, it's not like anyone else was going to use this room or eat these leftovers. We've been doing this for years, Becca. If we were doing any harm, we would have been found out by now. Our mother's dead, and our father was clueless when it came to raising two girls by himself. We were afraid that unless we somehow went off to boarding school, we'd wind up in foster homes. So we applied for scholarships all over the place, but this was the only one we got. So we decided to share it. And we've only got one more semester. Just one. We're so close. Please don't tell, Becca. Please. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, I won't tell. And don't worry. I'm pretty good with secrets. Thank you. I just can't believe I'm the only one who knows. Actually, you're not. Kim! Someone else found out and blackmailed us into leaving those black cat notes for other people. You too are the black cat? No, we just make the notes and deliver them to whomever the real black cat tells us to. What are you doing? If she tells they're gonna kick us out anyway, Rachel, she may as well know everything. Maybe she'll even help us. So you're Rachel and you're Kim? Right. How does this blackmailer black cat person communicate with you? Email. Each time it's from a different address. We have no idea who's sending them. Well, I guess I could kind of, you know, play detective and try to find out who it is. That would be so cool. Then we'd know something that person doesn't want anyone to find out. A stalemate. Yes! In the meantime, my sister needs to finish her dinner and you should go. Nobody cares if one of us isn't around, but if the new girl suddenly disappears... I understand. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I mean, I'll see one of you guys tomorrow. Night! So, they're both going for the same scholarship. It's only going to have one of their names on it. Yeah, so... you can't... Don't think about it too hard. Okay, so <laughs> the whole thing is they're trying to escape the possibility of foster home because like if you think about I it only that. one of them is going to have the degree and one of them is not going to have a high school degree it's like <laughs> <laughs> so they're not really considering what happens after high school yeah they're when... just trying to get through this little tough time that they have right okay now. what's up yeah. roomie i'll let you get back to your paper hasta whatever because essentially they are kids you know yeah I can't, I kind of, I keep thinking they're in college. Like, I forget this is a high school. All right. Still have to do that. Check. Still have to do that. That's done. That's done. D 
did that. Check. All right. Haven't done that. Should I go talk to Rachel about the pictures then? It says that's not... It says that's still not done. Yeah, let's do that. It's not locked. Maybe later, okay? All right. I'm gonna go check the computer because it's... On our checklist it says, make sure that they're all taken correctly. And I'm pretty sure we're done, but it won't let me mark it off yet. Perfect zoom, bad pan. What the heck? Maybe it's not. Is she not in the middle enough? All right, I gotta go take another picture of Megan or whatever. Wait, wrong way. All right. Think that's good? Do down. A little more. A little, little, little. <laughs> little, little there. Let me freeze. Stop. Perfect. Hey, what's going on? None of this stuff. Goodbye. I'll check back with you later. Bye. I feel like there's... It's not in every game, but there... In a lot of games, there's like a character where you have to play games or solve riddles or something like that whenever you talk to them. And that's always an option that I, like, I'm like trying to avoid. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the uh, the only one that stands out to me would be Curse of Blackmore Manor playing yep. games with Jane. That was what I was thinking, too. I'm trying to think of any other circumstance or any other games where that is the situation um oh lucas lucas from uh captive curse mm -hmm. you can play monster with him mm. oh my gosh who else give it some time um I know there's another. I can't think of who it is. Um, How's it going? I'll catch you later. Pop in anytime. I was going to say the one guy from Phantom of Venice, but you oh. that's not really like an optional thing that you can click on by accident that's like something you have to do but you can later on later on you can oh, go you back can, you can go back just to play a yeah. game with him yeah okay. later on you can have the option to do that or not okay check oh we did it oh sweet all right so that's done that's done check can't as, check that off Nancy yet say. can't check that off all yet right, let's check back in with rachel or what was her sister's name kim kim so Rachel got the scholarship. Well, yep. How does Kim feel about that? How about that? This door's not locked. Because presumably- You can come in. They both applied for the scholarship here, right? But Kim didn't get it. So how, yeah. how would Kim feel about that situation? Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Sure did. Fab. Now Fab. I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the meet the candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. No problem. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. In case I forgot to say it before, 
I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. <laughs> All right. Back to the computer. Oh, do you want to do the snack shop? Yeah. Duties? Okay, I'll everybody. Do. Snack shop's open. My snack shop duty. Oh, a teacher order. I've got to get this one done fast. If I'm fast enough, I can earn a credit. Too slow, and I'll get a demerit. Let's do this. I'm ready, Nancy. Cheese. Meat. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Bread. Milk. An orange. Chocolate bar. And chips. Come get your order. Time. <laughs> Done. Was I supposed to be timing? Oh man, you weren't. Did we get a did we get a credit though? I don't Check uh, your phone. Oh man, was I not quick enough? Yes! I one credit. Sweet. Check out your demerit suite. Plagiarism? Oh. Is that true or is it just a rumor? Uh oh. Better go ask her. Oh, we got another. Oh, oh, look at that. So you are getting credit for doing Rachel slash Kim's work. All right, let's go talk to Mel. See about this plagiarism. It's, open. it's not true, if that's what you want to know. So they're not going to expel you? They're sure talking about it, which is so unfair. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Why do they think you did? Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. Okay. You think someone's trying to frame you? Day after Megan left, I found a note under my door. And then, not too long ago, I got another one. Both were from the black cat. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't. And whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that, please? Of course. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Thank you, Becca. Oh man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? <laughs> I better get going. Drop in any time. Okay, bye. So that's the thing with Nancy. Like, somebody will spiel, like, this whole, like, um, monologue about, oh my gosh, I'm so emotional about this subject. And Nancy will be like, well, gotta get going. <laughs> it's like, thank you so much. It's, it's everything's been so hard since my dad left. It's like, all right, bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, Great God. talking to you. <laughs> so, resources. Um, probably s academics. Yeah. Resources. Okay, so enter Reduce. database source number. So go ahead and look at the pa paper she gave you. The uh, paper she gave you. Yeah. 
Okay, so if you add, if you enter one of the database source numbers, um, so anyone, just pick one, enter it. Three zero four three six two four one. Okay. Three dot six two four dot yeah. Okay, so go ahead and view. So, she, what did she say about the IP address of the person who uploaded it? Said none of the numbers will repeat. I think. Yes, that is what she said. So, which one of these combinations would make an IP address where none of the numbers repeated? Um. <clears throat> So I just have to pick one from each section? Yes. Right, so. That's not it. Um, I don't think I'm doing this right. So... sure I understand exactly what I'm looking for. Each instance highlighted and timed data source number by... So you're trying to pick one of these combinations. It's nothing to do with this anymore. You have to pick one of the combinations where none of the numbers repeat. So... Let's say you pick three one, and you can't pick this one. You can pick this one, this one, or this one. Let's say five seven. So you can can't pick this one, this one, this one. But you can pick this one or this one. So let's say you pick four six. You can't pick this one. 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 So you know that's wrong. Okay. So. So I'd... I would suggest trying to go for the least number possible. <clears throat> so you can either go for 31 or 69 for the first one. Okay, so you can pick the first one. You can pick the last one. So either 8 or 57. So I would go for the least number. Okay, so next step. You can't go for the first one. You can't pick the second. You can pick the third. You can pick the fourth. You can't pick the fifth. Okay, so last one. You can go. Okay. So that didn't work. I don't know why that didn't work because that would be right. I've I've had multiple that didn't repeat. So you have to pick the right one, I guess. Yeah, maybe try several combinations. That way, that wouldn't work. 
Um, that wouldn't work. This would work. Can't be that, can't be that, can't be that, cannot be that, cannot be that. Maybe it's 31. Maybe 31, 8. Um, 46. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe. Okay, let's try 69 again. 69, 57. Can't be that, can't be that, can't be that, can't be... Can't be this? Okay, can be that. Let's try... Okay. <clears throat> That's not right. Okay, could be this? No, because... Oh, no. It's got a six in it. Correct. That cannot, 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 cannot... Two, eight, four. Can it? Uh, yes. Okay, so can't be this one, can't be that one. Uh, 103. Can it be that? Yep. If the date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, which proves she didn't copy it. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. Interesting. Jetpack here. Thanks so much for watching part 8 of our Warnings at Waverly Academy playthrough. If you like what you saw, give us a like and subscribe. We have several projects that we're really excited for you all to see. You can also follow us on Instagram for more content and updates. Thanks!